All right, so the elves are pretty much out of castles. They only have West Ray Castle left, and I think we'll try to take that. There's only two lords here, and they're really weak. It's only a ladder attack, too. All right, we're definitely not charging into that. So we're gonna back out. We lost four and we took out 143. All right, last tag we didn't lose anything and we took him out. And we'll take this guy prisoner. I don't think it will lower our relation with him. It doesn't. Geldar Foot Knight. These guys have bows, huh? I didn't know that. The Elentorn morale is low, but then the Geldar morale is excellent. It's gotta be because we're fighting the Elentor. I didn't know that some units' morale could be low while other units could be higher. I thought if it was an issue, then it'd just bring down our whole party morale, but that's not the case. All right, we're gonna head back over to Leal and dump off all our Elentorn units. And let's see if we can keep going without using any Elentor. Eventually, our relations will go back down to zero once we declare peace, I believe. Okay, we're just gonna dump off all the Elentor because they hate killing their elven brothers. It's okay that we have picked up 83 Prisno Dark Forest Archers. And let's sell the 198 prisoners for 30k. I'm gonna give Shijin the Black Ebony Bow for now. And I can give Eric Canis the Elven Emblem Bow. Alright, so now we're gonna figure out what units we want. Um, we'll take some bow masters, I guess. They're pretty bad, but they do have 400 archery skill. And anything that can pick up a bow. Oh, we got a bunch of Arula Lords here. And it looks like they want to join. Oh, he's, he's going to pledge to us. And he's upstanding with only 380 renown. My god, that's so low. We'll take the pledge though. He's upstanding, so he won't backstab us. Chief Hakadam Hamod. He has 1k renown, but he's self-righteous. So we have no relation with him. Oh, this guy. He's devoted. 910 renown. Okay, I'll take your pledge. Ratu Dohate. He's cunning with really low renown, so we're not going to give him anything. But we'll take his pledge anyways. What about this guy? Ratu Bagwood. He's devoted. 380 renown. You patiently listen to what Chief Toskos has to say. Your agility increases. What? I'm at 18 agility now. I can get six writing. I wonder if this guy gave us something too, because somebody was saying if you have a good relation with the lords, they'll give you stuff. I know they gave you stat bonuses though, that's so cool. Chief Togkos is upstanding with good renown, so we're gonna give him some thieves. I'm thinking Enduin Castle, Logbur, and Galbar. We gave him Enduin Castle and Chief Hakano did not like that. We gave him three thieves and no one else objected besides this guy. Not even Tylen objected, which is odd. And speaking of who, I've been meaning to give Tylen another thief. So he'll give him Pluvian, it's pretty close to Malon Castle. What lords will do every once in a while is they'll inspect their villages. So if he's at Malon Castle, he has to go to Galmel and Pluvian, that's not too far and then I'll go back. Saren Castle and Slenner are kind of in the middle of nowhere and they're near Elsinore so they might get retaken at any time. So we'll give those to this dude who is devoted with a hundred relations so he won't betray us but he has like no renown and no one cared besides the two lords that we don't really want to be our lords anyways. There's three elven lords down here pillaging this village and conveniently enough if we chase them down this way we can actually head down over to Azure Keep and siege that which shouldn't be too heavily fortified because they did steal that from the Geldar. You also may notice we're back to 260 units. I went to Fortnite and I had a pretty good garrison there and I just picked of a bunch of units and i got 25 farmers they can actually upgrade into prisoner recruits which i can turn into bowmen i'm just gonna herd these guys down here like cattle although we'd rather not fight them inside the castle and it looks like that's where they're going yeah it's only got 140 units in the garrison i think we'll just attack them all at once that way we can just capture them and get it over with oh it looks like they're running okay it's a siege tower i'm surprised the elves actually sat there for how long it takes for them to build a siege tower this week we picked up 57k last week it was only 11k and what i didn't realize is that i forgot to give myself leal which was only about 10 10k this month. Westray Castle gave us 18,000. Like in comparison, Foreign Iron's only giving us 9k and that's a town. All right, here we go. The legendary Geldar Castle. Holy crap, I got annihilated. This thing does not look very defensible. This is one of those where I feel like the attacker has the advantage. This is not a very good place to stand either. One thing I noticed with the infantry too is some units will charge in with their two-handers, but if you tell them to hold their fire, they'll pull their shields out if they have any. And I find that's a lot more effective when you're just trying to charge into castles and draw arrow fire. I only lost one unit. Our allies only lost five. We took out 140. We got some Geldar recruits. Remus now has 628 units, but he's 247 prisoners. So he's moving like he's a party of around 900 units which is very slow. The Gildar and Foot Knights have 10 in power draw, 480 archery, and black ebony bows with Gildar and arrows. In decent armor, it's not as good as the Elantor Knight armor though. And a royal enchantment plus four iron flesh. Meanwhile, the Forest Wardens don't have that helmet. They have way crappier bows and better arrows. And the Forest Wardens only have nine power draw, whereas the Foot Knights have 10 and they have 10 more archery too. I think I will choose the Foot Knights. They're definitely gonna be better in sieges and siege defense. 8,300 for the princess. I think we'll take it. I'd rather not lose relation with any more Elantor. We just got 12.5K from friends. I think in the meantime, we'll head over to Vinica and we'll see if that's slightly defended or not. These guys all split as soon as I got close to Vinica. Um, yeah, stay away. We'll take this out. There's only 624 here and it's a ladder attack. So we can just take our time here. We don't have to do it too quickly. Elantor offers you a peace agreement. Oh, they won't give me any of their towns. I'm rejecting that. Until I take Vinica, my mercenary company is taking forever to get here. Oh, they're fighting. I gotta help with Ratu. Oh, I wonder if this is a Geldar. This is probably a Geldar Lord that we're fighting. 
Oh, it must be. Yeah, they're totally Gildar. So one cool thing I found out is that every time you take out a Lord, they lose relation with their faction or with their faction leader. So if you want a Lord to join you, just defeat him over and over and let him go if you don't have good enough relation with him. We end up losing six there. Those guys are really strong. And we can take this guy prisoner. He's definitely a Gildar Lord. He is Marshal with 975 renown. So we'll let him go. We have five relation with him. It would be nice if he defected later. Where is our mercenary company? Oh, he's fighting. Oh, he got absolutely slaughtered. He's down to 400 units. I knew something happened to our mercenary company because he was taking forever to get here. I just didn't think they would attack him. He had 600 units and they actually ambushed him. I don't think there's any way he would have chosen that battle. Oh my God, they have so many knights and stuff. It's a full night Sunrise Rider party. This is not a fun party that we want to be a part of. We only lost two, but our allies got dumpstered. They lost 32. They had 18 riders, 19 Sunrise Riders, 16 Knights, and four Crimson Ragers. That dude had an insane party. Wow, 1230 renown, that's why. He's bad tempered, so we're gonna take him prisoner. Oh, there's two Lords, I guess. Oh, this guy's a beast too. 1180 renown, we'll let him go. Oh, there's three Lords there. Okay, maybe that was why. Reinforced Elantor and Helmet. That's pretty bad, but it sells for 20K. All right, Remus is down to 400 units. Talon is 100 though, and we got Ratu Dohate with us, and and half his party is wounded. But I think we'll try to take Vinica anyways. And then we'll make peace with the elves. And if we do end up marrying Princess Lethandrul, we get Elsnar. So that means the elves will be completely wiped out. All right, here we go. We can back it as many times as we want. And holy crap, we're close. That's an insane spawn. One of them actually fell out of their castle. Good lord. I kind of like this though. I know our leaf bomb throwers have a good advantage here. We have a few of them. The battle's only been going on for like a minute and we've killed 130 so far. This is the quickest siege I've ever seen this game. All right, we've killed almost 200. We're just going to back out. We lost seven. Our allies lost 18. Now they're down to 400. And this time we get even more units on the field. Right, that time around was a lot bloodier for some reason. We lost 20. Our allies lost 55. And we killed 180. Looks like we're getting down to the bottom of the party because a lot of their units we're killing are like scouts and bowmen and hunters. A lot of those are just really bad low tier units. I think they only have 70 left we could end them this turn around but we would take unnecessary casualties and they have a lot of archers just stuck over here so i think we'll back out their archers are all pretty much dead this is like the most fun part just aoe down all of their melee i'm not the only one throwing leaf bombs i got companions throwing leaf bombs too in that whole siege though i lost around 40 units but we did get some back i'll just hire as many as i can and we're max out on prisoners and they still have more right, they have a ransom broker here we'll sell the 221 prisoners for 41k all right now we're gonna move over to elsinore and it's kind of a bluff because we can't really attack them a lot of our units are kind of wounded although remus still has 300 we could actually just take out elsinore here or if they try to make peace i would probably take it because i think they have a lot of lords there we could actually maybe do this 672 elves another thing too is since all their lords are at elsinore i'm gonna talk to all of them one by one and like we got five relation with this guy because we let him go last time oh this guy's gonna give us the healer quest and we got five more relation with him for doing the quest five relation with this guy too this guy is 100 relation oh we were able to persuade him to join this guy's only got 679 renown but he's upstanding we got five relation with archduke oro too which was the geldar lord that we let go Persuade him to join. Oh, he's gonna join us. A Geldar Lord, let's go. I wonder if we can get some of these other Elven Lords to join us. What, this guy's gonna join us? <laughs> we have no relation with him. This guy probably will. He's got 20 relation. Oh, he won't. He's pretty faithful to the queen. Dang, this guy's 1500 renown too. This guy would be an absolute monster to have. What about this guy? We have 26 relation with him. Oh, he's gonna join us. He's at 1200 renown, dude. They only have four Lords in Elsnor now. This guy's gonna join us too. <laughs> he's sadistic, but screw it. <laughs> That's one less elven lord. All right, well, there's still three lords that remain faithful to the elves. Looks like they want to go down with the sinking ship. Ooh, this guy's already with us. He's got 18 units, but they're all really high tier Elentorn horse archers. We could just attack them right now, I think. Um, It's going to be bloody, though. It is. It's going to be bloody. Oh, God. All right, we took out 180. We'll just back off. We lost 17. Our allies lost 23. For some reason, the second attack, they get more archers or something because we're actually just getting mauled here. I have 50 dead, but 50 are also wounded as well. We only have 58 units. They have 193. Okay, we got to back out. We're just abandoning that siege. I think we're really low on units. I only have 55 left. Everyone else is wounded. Okay, I see what's going on. Well, they are down to 400, so that's good. Where's our mercenary company? Oh, he wasn't even there the whole time. Okay, Remus, dude, what are you doing, bro? Party wants to just back out, but part of me thinks we can keep attacking with Remus here. Chief Oro is down to three units. Chief Bragadon's a beast, though. He's got a bunch of Elantorn units. He's cunning with 1,100 renown. I'm not sure how to manage a lord like that. I think we have to give him three fiefs or something, which would be doable. All right, well, mistakes were made, but I think we're going to keep attacking. No matter how many casualties we take here, it's... Oh, we got 200 units there, I think. Who was that? Was that Tylan? It's going a lot better this time because now we actually have infantry with shields. 
Um, when we lost like 50 units, we didn't have any infantry in that battle. So their archers were just pounding on our archers, but now they're actually like attacking the infantry. It's going a lot better. We killed 114. I've only lost one. I'm just going to back out. We got 62k this week. Fortnite Iron has 160k in their treasury. Holy crap, we're rich. I think we might change our culture to the Geldar. That costs 300k, but we are loaded right now. And the Arulo culture sucks so bad. Like the only thing good about the Arulo is the fact that they have leaf bomb throwers, but the rest of our units are actual garbage units. Their bowmen suck. Their cavalry are like somewhat okay. Their infantry are like somewhat okay. And their leaf bombers are like really situationally good like they're so squishy in like one arrow will just take out a master hurler like look at this arulo guy arulo strong one he costs 600 and he's running around with no chest piece not only is he running around with no chest piece he's running around with a two-hander out with no chest piece like can you imagine the survivability of this guy on this one they put that rally point in like the wrong position so they stand over here this one is just leaf bombs just destroy them. Oh, and I'm dead. Alrighty, boys, we did it. We took the elves out. And this guy is Marshall with 1k right now. We'll let him go. Take all the prisoners, 124 of them. And that's it for this episode. We've officially conquered the elves. In the next episode, we're going to be amassing an army and moving on to another faction, which I'll try to get out for you guys later today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.